Welcome in ladies and gents. So today we're going to be looking at adding a simple weather widget to your stream. Something similar to that. There it is. Uh, so let's get into it. So first off, we are going to need a couple of bits. Well, one main bit really. Um, and it will be needing to sign up to a so you can get an API key for your weather. Um, we do this on open weather. So we go to this website here and we start, you sign up. Uh, it's free, completely free. Uh, once you sign up, you will create an account. Well, once you create an account, you can uh, go and log in. Once we log in, you will be going to, you can either go to here or you can go to my API keys. And here, then we create a key. So best thing to do before we try and set this up, say if you want it for your stream, is try and create it potentially up to an hour beforehand. Uh, otherwise it might not generate straight away it might not get the data because it it can take potentially up to a day so if it doesn't work straight away then you'd have to save it for another stream potentially so otherwise you, you generate a key call it whatever you want and then we're going to copy this data here so that's your key so that's the first section done what we then do is we will go to this website again all the links for these websites will be in the description um, and then all we do is we copy and paste our api key into here um, and then from here all we're doing is selecting your your city obviously your country but we'll do that anyway i didn't do this on this version so we'll do it from here there we go there so language again you can choose your language uh english and then you've got your standard metric or imperial i go metric just because that's what we're used to in the uk this is what it will look like um you can put you show your location on it uh you can show minimum maximum text full weather dark theme dark theme it's got to be always dark theme always dark theme I don't like this website, it's too bright for me. Anyway, <laughs> so then all we do is we get our URL. It gives you the height and the width you need to put it in right there. And then all we do is we copy this here. We go to our OBS. Let me find the right, I've obviously clicked on the wrong one. There we go. So we go to our OBS. He's adding this in as a browser source. I don't know why I said browser like that, but there we go. Uh, so we find browser source. Call it again. Call it what you, whatever you want. We're just going to call this one weather widget, and um, we're going to press OK. So we are going to clear that. And we're going to press Control V. Copy that. I believe it was five ninety by two eight five, and there we have it. You can put it wherever you like on the scene. One bit I do like to do, um, and you can do this, uh, is you can do a show and hide transition. So if you don't want it on there all the time, uh, you can do like a slide, like off here, so it goes in from the left for the show and for the hide. Again, you can do that. You can go right. You can press OK. And then if you want to put a button in your stream deck, so we'll show this one here i've got this one here it's on a certain scene and you can just show and hide that when you click your um click the, uh, click the source when i get my words right there we go so it's as simple as that it, it gives you a clean um weather widget for your stream just like that um obviously you can change the location if you want it to be your location put it as your location if you don't you don't have to um obviously you don't necessarily want people to know exactly where you are all the time online but uh yeah so nice and clean simple widget uh add it to your stream um as for that uh we'll catch you in the next one ladies and gents peace out